Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise to praise uh, what must be two corporate CEO superstars based on just how much they have made in compensation. Uh, the first is Irene Rosenfeld, who was CEO of Mundelez Nabisco. Over the last five years, she was paid over $100 million. And the, her successor, um, who makes Ms. Rosenfeld look poor by comparison, her successor, Mr. Dirk Vandeput, who in 41 days was paid $42 million. Now, $42 million for 41 days of work, $105 million for the last five years worth of work. You must think, what superstars these two are? What great achievements or great inventions did these two CEOs come up with? Well, here's what they've done leading Nabisco. They closed the factory in Philadelphia in my district that employed hundreds of people for over 60 years, closed a similar plant in Chicago that employed over 600 people. And by the way, when I say employed, I'm not talking about minimum wage jobs. I'm talking about good, family-sustaining jobs. Now, where did these jobs go? What other part of the United States did they go? Salinas, Mexico, where workers, instead of getting family-sustaining wages, are getting paid approximately $1.50 an hour. That is wrong. When you wonder why there's such angst in our economy today, despite the historically low unemployment rate, this is why. In case you think that Philadelphia and Chicago might be exceptions to this Nabisco uh, business model. They've also done it in Pittsburgh, in Houston, in Niles, St. Elmo, Buena Park, and as I mentioned, of course, Philadelphia and Chicago. This is greed on steroids. So the next time you crave an Oreo or crave Chips Ahoy, both Nabisco brands, I urge you to take a look at the back of the package and see if whether or not it was still made in the United States or if it's one of the products that is now made in Mexico. I also urge you to do this. Contact your member of Congress and say that you are not going to accept trade deals and tax policies that allow this sort of disgraceful behavior to happen. The hollowing out of American middle class jobs. It is wrong. We, the elected officials of this country, have to stand up for the American worker.